Today on Suncoast View, how much of a say should downtown residents get about temporary street closures for events? It's under debate again. Well, there's no debating the abundance of luxury homes here on the Suncoast. We get to take a look inside some in today's Suncoast for Sale. And hear the inspiring story of a Sarasota Irish dancer who created the most popular Irish dance touring show, and we will get a preview. All that more right now on Suncoast for You. Welcome to the show and welcome back to Kelly Jacob. Hi, Great guys. to see you. Good to see you. Big congratulations Thank on you. the opening of the second Jacob's boxing yes. location in Lakewood Ranch. Finally. I know it took a lot of patience. It did. And you know what? Maybe that was the lesson to be learned, right? Because I know you're a very task-oriented person. Yeah, I guess anything that's worth the wait um, <laughs> takes is the worth waiting. It. Ooh, yes. worth the wait. Yeah, we're open. We opened um, Monday, and it's been oh. um, really amazing to see the fruits of our labor open and being used, and so uh, we're excited. So oh, classes yes. scheduled at various times and days, yeah, and then we training have, as well. Yep, yeah, we've got classes in the morning and in the evening. Uh, we have personal training during the day, small groups during the day, kids' classes starting next week so um, we had a really great turnout on Monday lots of new faces I'm excited to meet all of these Lakewood Ranch peeps and yeah. uh, splitting trying to split my time uh, probably not 50 50 but doing the best I can because you be still there. have your other gym we do yeah. yeah we do so I have to take a little bit of a back seat on uh, the <laughs> management of Lakewood Ranch and kind of let it grow and, and flourish. Well, and trust someone else. It's got to be hard with yeah. your baby. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's hard. It's uh, you know, it's our it's our name. It's our brand, and so really deep roots in boxing between Adam and Aaron and their dad, and so we just want to keep that authentic mm -hmm. and uh, make sure that the people that are representing that yes. are doing it well. And, and they've they got something so special to offer. Mm -hmm. Thank so you. So we want to yes. see that there. Thank you. Well, Thanks. very special to see something that started as just a little idea grow into multiple yeah. locations. Yeah. yeah so we're Happy cool. for you. Congrats. Very much congratulations there. We're going to check in the kitchen today where Chef Judy is joining mm -hmm. us. And we are happy to see her as always. And it's strawberry season. It is the peak of Florida strawberry season. Oh. And I have some delicious desserts and pastries, some fresh strawberries. And Stephanie, this strawberry rhubarb pie oh. is just Ooh. for you, my Midwestern oh. friend. That's right. Midwest <laughs> girls love their rhubarb. I've never mm. tasted rhubarb. Neither have I. Well, I, and everywhere I go, we have this conversation, Judy. <laughs> I've had it. I've, we've had it in New York, but I've never had rhubarb really by itself. <laughs> no, you're not, and you're not going to okay, because good. we're celebrating strawberries, not rhubarb. Yeah, that's that's right. just an so it's mixed in the pie. Yeah. And I'm also going to make a strawberry coolie, and I'm going to get started cooking it now, Ooh. just with water, sugar, and strawberries. So by yeah. the time you come over here, we will have a beautiful sauce for any dessert. Oh, I oh, love it. Good. We had strawberry shortcake at my house on Sunday night. Did it's you? one of my kids' most requested Yum. desserts. Yum. So oh, I mean, think about it. they're so inexpensive. They mm -hmm. literally are grown 15 miles from where we live. I mean, it doesn't get any more fresh than that. So. And you can buy the cake and put the strawberries yeah, you know what <laughs> and I did do that too so <laughs> sometimes I make it but no if you can also buy them ready to go a lot of whipped cream kids are happy yes. <laughs> it's a great fun and local dessert I like to teach everybody about what's right here in our area it is time for our first hot topic and how to close a downtown street for an event remains a divisive issue in Sarasota so the downtown condo association association wants to change the current system which gives each condo building right now one vote per building on behalf of all the residents. Well, the new proposal would give each resident unit and each business on a street a vote about what street closers they can have for any event that would last from six to 72 hours. Event organizers would have to mail notices of all proposed events prior to the event and allow 30 days response. Is this fair to potential downtown events? Like, I feel like we're squelching oh, our... Yeah, we need I to have like downtown events or it'll so die. Hard. We're making it so hard to get anything done in the city. Um, and and then the uh, the events just don't happen. And because don't we the, want the events? process. Yeah, you yes, would think we so. Do. You would think we, we would want events. We need a coming together. We need people from everywhere to come together for events, and that's what we do. Right. And we have art events, and we have all kind of different events to bring people together. Well, and, and when I you know live it's downtown, downtown, if you live downtown, but that's, you're, but you're choosing chose to live that. there. Uh, yes. Yeah, you're choosing to live there. Yes, but you know, and it almost plays like a broken record every year, where it's people are not 
understanding anyone else's point of view, right? So it's like the people that want the festivals, of which I am one, mm -hmm. we are angry at the people that live downtown that want quiet, the people that move their festivals to Lakewood Ranch or mm -hmm. Venice or other places, everyone gets mad that they're not downtown anymore. There's right. gotta be kind of a coming together of what is the compromise. Right, and I agree with the point of if you live downtown, you have to know that that is part of the ball game. And here's my other question. You chose to live downtown, I'm assuming, because there's of a the vibrancy. vibrancy. Right. Mm -hmm. If you take away those festivals, then we're losing money for the businesses and restaurants. Yeah. Eventually, we lose the businesses and restaurants. You're going to be living in the shell of a downtown, yeah. which is yeah. not what you want. And businesses are struggling down there. They're competing yeah. with the mall. They're competing with Lakewood Ranch. Yeah. Yep. The, the business is which going Which is full out. of festivals. Well, yeah. And, and, yeah. and while the county makes it much easier, I, I'm trying to put an event on. I went to the city, and then I was like, I'm going to Benderson. Like I just, it's it's. And right. that's what so I think people easier. should understand is that you know you're doing this and you know you're spending all your effort and time and money and when it gets so difficult, you're like I just got to go where they yeah. they because make yeah. plug other in. Other yeah. places. Absolutely. What about Pain Park? Places. I always look that's at Pain so cool. Park outside of downtown, mm -hmm. just north of 301. Right. Yeah. I always look at that and go, that would be a prime spot for an event. Mm -hmm. There's enough parking around it. Nobody really lives right there. It's you well, some, there are but not a lot. Yeah. There are. I've been on the Heart Walk there. Yeah. And there, yes. there are yeah. some events there uh, but you still have to go through the you still have to go through the city yes, um, yes. I did contact them and then the city kind of sends you to like some somebody at the specific park it just the yeah. it's the Ooh. steps that are required that makes it uh, like and maybe so much work. maybe the people that live downtown it isn't about the noise who knows maybe it actually mm -hmm. is about like I'm sorry I can't park my I can't get into my parking garage because yes. the streets which are you closed. probably yes. can't but if it's for a set period of time I yeah. think if you choose to live in that area and you yeah. want the area to prosper yeah. that may be part of I the deal. I hope so. maybe one season we can all come to the same table mm -hmm. and go what's the actual mm -hmm. gripe right. okay mm -hmm. you and know. try to fix it yeah. yeah well they are talking but it usually ends up not ending yeah. in, <laughs> yes. in any yeah. agreement speaking of things we can't agree on I'll let the music play again on St. Armand's <laughs> Circle after a big issue two years ago over playing amplified music throughout the shop shopping and dining area. Now the business district is discussing installing a new speaker system. The last one got removed after it stopped working well. Well, this is a tens of thousands of dollars expense. Some say music makes people happy. It makes them want to spend in stores. Others say, why spend the money on something no one is asking for? <laughs> Would you notice or care if there was music outside on the circle? I was trying to remember if there was music there was outside for many years. on the circle. I don't think so. And if I'm at a restaurant, I'd rather hear maybe the music in the restaurant. That was my answer. I'd yes. rather hear it in the individual venues yeah. than artificially piped. That's true. Wait. Crab and Finn has a beautiful piano player that sure. sits outside. Columbia it's does true. live music uh -huh. yes. some nights. Yeah. 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 So I like that because it's a particular kind of music. Are but we fighting other? over something that no one's really asking for? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is that it? Because it's if you're a store <laughs> owner and you say, yeah, I want to play relaxing music or I want to play upbeat music because it'll make people buy more, then you can do then that do within that. your store. Right. Right. Uh, do that. Is anyone really walking around going, I miss music when you're right. close yes. to the beach? Right. Well, yes. and is it the feel of wanting the tropical music and the island feel puts everybody in that laid back good sure, mood so maybe, maybe we'll stop and have an play extra the, cocktail? Play the amplified music when you're at the Lido Pavilion. Put, yeah. Put it yeah. There. That would not help, there, I don't think. I think they want to do it because it brings everybody together. It sort of ties this area together but I don't think people are paying attention to no. it. Either. Not at that price tag. I mean there's a lot of money no. to spend. And those things stores on. are working together better I think in the last year or so than they ever have with before. With that association. With ladies night yeah. and all those things yeah. that they do together. Uh -huh. Play music everyone hates so they'll go into a store. To <laughs> <escape> <laughs> no. And they they might get in the car and drive no. away. <laughs> Alright here's my shopping tip for the day. Parents and grandparents write this down. Grab a pencil. Straight from New York City here is the predicted hottest toy for 2018. Oh it comes out of the New York Toy Fair. This is called Pomzi. Once again, it's another interactive plush toy pet. This one wraps around your wrist or your ankle, and the more you touch it and play with it, the more it reacts. The best news technology has gotten cheaper. Pomzi's will retail at $15. Oh. Okay. There is no telling what's going to happen on eBay. Oh. Also <laughs> popular, more boy oriented oh, toilet. No humor games. Well, things haven't changed. <laughs> yeah, right, no. that's not a news flash, people. Uh, but we had something on our show last year, the finger things, that cost $15. Uh -huh. right. right. By the time I went to get them, they were like $69, $79. Yeah. Did you go to eBay? I went wherever I could get them. 
and they just disappeared. So I am going to be at a store somewhere <laughs> yeah. tonight. Yeah, start it. looking. Yeah. I'm not sure where they've been released yet, but Ponzi. that was the big deal at the I New York My daughter's going to be wearing like four on each other. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the thing. Little girls love to nurture yeah. and decorate. And I just like the fact that they're you know, fairly low maintenance. I like that they're, well, I hope they, st the, the idea that they're $15, I was about to celebrate, but then Linda makes a good point. They're going to get, gonna they are going to go die. So, yeah. I, and the kids like them for like 15 minutes. Yeah, and that's very over. true. It reminds you of the Furby, doesn't it? Was yes. that the Furby yes. that was yes. a little yes. toy? And, and there was, was something that, expensive. there was something that came in a ball this year that when you open the ball, it popped hat, hat, out. That's a hatchet hatch, ball. Hatch, hatch, yeah, ball. I had to find a bunch oh of Oh my gosh, $79 a hatchet ball. I've got four grandkids. Don't say the word Pomsy in your house this year, so your kids won't know about it. Yeah, maybe there will be Pomsies in my house. <laughs> I mean, that's what she's been a determined <laughs> grandma, this one. All right, well, the Winter Olympics, of course, continue to captivate big American audiences of all ages. And speaking of all ages, have you noticed all ages are competing? We hear a lot about the all-star teens, but there are more and more Olympians over 40. Advances in sports science have helped athletes optimize their training to combat aging and extend their careers. Plus, seasoned athletes are used to the mental toughness needed to succeed. Olympic experience is a factor. Kelly, what do you think about this? I love this story. Yeah, I do too. And it's interesting because I, um, I, I stretch every week a gentleman, Steve Shutt, who is an NHL Hall of Famer, and he's in his 60s, and he tells me about like when he was playing, and they would sit. He wouldn't, but they'd sit in the locker room, and like a lot of them would smoke cigarettes, and <laughs> there was no stretching. There was no cross-training. There was right. no... So the, the difference in... And so your 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 lifespan is very short in your sport. Now mm -hmm. you do you have athletes that can compete much longer because of advances in um, what we know about stretching and mobility, oh. what we know about nutrition, mm -hmm. and they all have like a team of seven, eight, nine people who are with them. And I love the mental. The yes. fact that you've yeah. been there before. You yes. know you're not freaked out by the stage. I feel of it all. like yeah. I am so much better of an athlete now than Absolutely. I was when I was in my prime in swimming at 15 mm -hmm. years old because of what I know, because of my maturity, also because of how I take care of myself. Yeah. You know, I'm not going through the McDonald's drive through after sure. after I work out because I'm hungry, I'm putting something in my body that is going to help me perform. So we know a lot more, just even in the last 15, 20 years. Yeah. In my, my husband in my was a football coach. He yeah. liked to get older players yeah. because yep. they were smarter. Yes. They yes. Look at Tom Brady, and experience. I know that it yes. didn't end up, mm -hmm. but you look at Tom Brady and you watch um, him talk about uh, why he's better now than he was looking back at even his it's first Super Bowl. His 20s, yes. 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 I love the older maturity. Athlete. Yes, it's the yes. maturity on the field. That our news. brain really can yeah. control our body. Mm -hmm. It's very good news, too, for those of us that are just like casual fitness enthusiasts, yeah. because if, if Olympic athletes are, are getting older and able to do more as they age, that means the average person, hopefully, exactly. our exactly. health exactly. is getting better. Adam and I talk all the time. We absolutely, as human beings, can live to be well into our hundreds if, if you put good stuff in your body. And we right. know what we Need now. And we're learning more and more we about what that is. We really do, is. yeah. And we also know what's bad. It, it's it's a really a very clear cut uh, above the line, below the line. What you put in your body and what you don't, and uh, and you can live to be very old, <laughs> health in a healthy way. You know, not in a right. So maybe way. I'm not too old to take up boxing. Oh, no, you are <laughs> prime You're never time, old. Linda. There wouldn't be prime many time. people in my age group. Yeah. We'll have a field trip to Kelly's new yes. gym. How about that? You probably love that. A little she aggression. She would love it. She's, I do <laughs> like aggression. We've done it on the show. She's got the face. Yeah, she gets the Yeah. Absolutely. See, brain power. It's a good release. It's a good release. <laughs> that's right. All right. So you'd think when you go to some place called Margaritaville, you'd be able to get one, right? Well, that's what everybody thought, but wrong. Fans at the debut of Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville musical wanted to waste away in Margaritaville, <laughs> but they ran out. There were still shakers oh, no. of salt, but no triple sec, which is a key ingredient so in funny. a margarita. <laughs> Parrotheads apparently like to party. Sure, show organizers say Buffett's big night was the largest one-night bar sale <laughs> in the theater's history. <laughs> okay, that's hysterical. It's hysterical it to me that people are drinking margaritas at a Broadway show, but it makes sense because it is yeah. margarita. Well, if you're going to hear them, they went out. Yes. Triple if, sec. If there was a Broadway show, though, about red wine, wouldn't you think, hey, we might want to stock the bar with, with red wine, of that. whatever yeah. the theme yeah. of the yeah. show yeah. is. Yeah. I just think uh -huh. they underestimated how many margaritas yeah. one crowd can drink. As soon oh, as I hear that music, I'm like, it makes you want where's one. my turbis yes. with my margarita? Yeah. 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 And my <laughs> shaker of salt. Linda, forget the Pomsey toy. Let's buy triple sec and put money in triple sec, because that's Right. Gonna be the and we'll stand behind the door <laughs> so when they run That's out, right. here you go. Yeah. You know what, tomorrow is National Margarita Day, so oh, we're baby. getting ready a little bit early. <laughs> I have a skinny version these days. <laughs> All right, we're going to check on our happy hour forecast. When we come back, we've got a great look at the history of Suncoast Medicine.
Hello, I'm Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan with your happy hour forecast and the first alert weather looks to be pretty nice again today. Lots of sunshine out there, some fair weather cumulus clouds coming in from the east to the west. Uh, right now we are looking for the possibility of some patchy fog late tonight, but temperatures warm once again today. Currently it's 87 degrees and we have partly cloudy skies and uh, dew point at 63, humidity at 44%. Winds are out of the east at 11, 30, 29 on the pressure, and that means another record high again today at the Sarasota Bradenton Airport. With no sea breeze, temperatures soar. We could get close to 90, uh, 81 degrees now in Jacksonville, 83 in Orlando, 80 in Miami, and 81 in Key West. So three consecutive days of record high temperatures. Yesterday's 90 degree reading was an all time record for February, and the heat goes on as high pressure is not giving way. It's bumped to the south a little bit today, but we're still going to get that south to southeasterly wind flow, which will keep us in the warm sector. Lots of rain to the north of us. Details and all that coming up at 5. See you then. In the past 25 years, the Suncoast has completely transformed from a quiet beach community of less than 100,000 people to a sprawling area of hundreds of thousands, plus a vibrant snowbird population. Medical facilities are a crucial part of our growing community, and Intercoastal Medical Group has been here through all the changes. One of the founding partners, Dr. Randy Powell, joins us to talk about the transformation. Welcome. So Intercoastal Medical Group began back in 1993 as a physician-owned practice. Tell us what that means and about your original group. We had a group of uh, doctors that were all in small groups and with the pressures that were going on in the community uh, to uh, bring in more technology and the computers were coming into the practice, we had to uh, look at it differently. So we merged multiple practices mm -hmm. together and started a family practice. Uh, an internal medicine group. So 19 became one. From that original 19, how many doctors and staff are you now? Oh, um, we've grown immensely. Uh, we have 45 primary care doctors and oh, 44, wow. uh, or around that number, of specialists, and we've got another six coming this this year. So wow. more than 100 physicians. I read that your staff number is over 600. Obviously, <laughs> therefore, you need lots of space to do all of this. <laughs> but you mentioned specialists. Um, obviously, our area has changed, and our area is unique in many ways. Which of the specialties were first to arrive and fastest to grow? Well, we've had uh, a number of uh, specialties that have been added as the need arises for our patients. but. Uh, uh, cardiology and gastroenterology have been uh, areas that have grown the most and the rap most rapidly. Mm -hmm. I think one thing that you've been able to do as a physician to own practice is respond to whatever needs the community might have had. Since you do, you explain to everybody so they understand physician owned. Does that mean you are not affiliated with any particular hospital? And how does it work when you need to work with a hospital? Right. We uh, we do not have any ties to any one particular hospital, but. The three local hospitals, we go to all of those, and um, they're, uh, they're exceptionally good hospitals. We have wonderful health care here in Sarasota. Uh, so we can uh, access any of those hospitals, and all of our specialists are involved on the medical staff as well as the primary care. Well, one thing you've been able to do, I know, with the increase in your numbers is also then increase your care centers so that there are times you don't even have to go to the hospitals. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the different buildings and ambulatory centers and what that all brings to the practice. Uh, that's grown immensely as well. We, are, we have eight buildings now going from Lakewood Ranch down to uh, Palmer Ranch, and we have um, ambulatory surgery center, and we have diagnostic uh, centers in those buildings and we try to match the growth of the uh, population with mm. what their needs are. Physical therapy as well, right? I know that That's correct. 25 years ago, I mean, I'll be honest, I was in college and they said, go into physical therapy, that's gonna be a growing field, mm. and you all built a center to, just to do that for your patients. That's correct, yeah. When we see a need in the outpatient setting, then we try to match that up with what the population needs. And I'm sure the population appreciates the you know, accessibility of various centers rather than having to use a hospital for everything. Mm -hmm. I, I think so. All yeah. know that can be tricky. What about well, technology? Yes, because your technology has grown. How has technology grown, grown in the 25 oh years? You have an MRI yeah. machine, I understand? That's correct, yeah. We have uh, uh, a lot of ancillary um, uh, technology and th this one in particular is uh, 
one of two in the U.S. that are available right now. What can you see with this or, or diagnose with this that you might not be able to with other machines? Well, part of it is that you can go into different areas like the prostate and uh, breast and, and uh, get a much more detailed picture of what you're mm -hmm. dealing with. And so it has helped immensely with... Uh, Oh, yeah, you don't have to go somewhere else the next day and get your yeah. test. That's correct. Yeah, yes. it is definitely nice when your yeah. physician center can handle everything, and I'm sure that helps with records, too. Now, we talked earlier about how Kelly's company has spread north into Lakewood Ranch. Uh, everything is spreading that direction. Tell me about the inroads you're making east of I-75. Well, we're trying to go where the growth is, mm -hmm. obviously, and, su and supply the medical care to those uh, areas. And uh, Lakewood Ranch is booming right now. Uh, so we have been, uh, we built a second building out there and trying to man up for the, for <laughs> all, the all the people that are coming. They yeah. certainly are. I know you don't have a crystal ball, but if, if you can look ahead into the next 25 years, what are your goals as the Sun Coast changes and the medical treatment world changes? Right. Um, it's, it, you do need a crystal ball because there's hard, hard to know exactly what's going to happen there. Uh, technology is obviously going to continue and there's going to be more um, emphasis on the testing and uh, less emphasis on, on things like uh, personal touch. And those are the things we have to keep in, in mind. Oh, have, that's important. Very yes. important. The yes. personal yes. touch is very yeah, important. Yeah, it's a hard balance, yes. the technology yes. and the yeah. personalness of it, because you started very personal yeah. 25 Oops. years ago. Yeah. Well, congratulations mm -hmm. and happy 25th anniversary to Intercoastal Medical Thank Group. Quite much. an accomplishment. For more information about all the different services and facilities they offer, you can go to their website, intercoastalmedicalgroup.com. Coming up next, a musical performance you might have missed. Many websites selling medication may look professional and legitimate, but the vast majority of sites selling prescription drugs are doing so illegally. Criminals use websites to sell counterfeit medications that may contain life-threatening toxins. Dot Pharmacy is a website verification program that helps you identify safe and trustworthy online pharmacies. Purchasing medicine online can be safe and easy. Just look for pharmacy to the right of the dot in website addresses. Glasses and contacts, you need them to see, but they put such a strain on your life. Due to new advances in vision improvement technology, LASIK is now affordable for almost everyone, with procedures starting as low as $299 per eye. And over one million procedures performed by our trusted independent surgeons, LASIK surgery is a sensible, safe, and affordable solution to improve your vision. So call now to talk to a LASIK Vision Institute counselor and schedule your free evaluation. 1-800-813-0109. Our nation's servicemen and women show great courage and leadership both on and off the battlefield. When they transition to civilian life, they can apply the skills and values they learned in the military to the workplace. That's why the Coalition to Salute America's Heroes is urging employers everywhere to be smart, bet on a vet. Hiring a veteran is also a great way to show your appreciation for them. To learn more, call 1-888-44-SALUTE. A decade of war has taken an unprecedented toll on our men and women in uniform. Hundreds of thousands of our veterans are suffering from the trauma of war. At Justice for Vets, we believe that every veteran should have the opportunity for treatment and restoration. Get involved and go to justiceforvets.org. Help put treatment within reach of veterans in crisis. Veterans fought for our freedom. Now it's our turn to fight for theirs. I just need a second. Is your weight holding you back and affecting your health? Did you see this? Hmm? Your cousin had a heart attack. Really? Excess weight or obesity can be serious, but you can do something about it. Visit yourweightmatters.org. Download the free toolkit to prepare you to speak with a health care provider. Your weight does matter. Accept the challenge and take charge today. Visit yourweightmatters.org. The Hunchback of Notre Dame became a well-known story when Disney made it into a film and then a musical. But the story itself dates back to the novel written in 1831 by Victor Hugo. And now it is a big hit at the Manatee Performing Arts Center. Here's actor Alec Zikafus, who plays Quasimodo. Here's a preview. Sanctuary. 
Safe behind these windows and these parapets of stone, gazing at the people down below me. All my life I watch them as I hide up here alone, hungry for the histories they've shown me. All my life I memorize their faces, knowing them as they will never know me. All my life I wonder how it feels to pass a day not above them, but part of them. And out there, living in the sun, give me one day out there. All I ask is one to hold forever out there where they all live unaware what I'd give what I'd dare just to live one day out there out there among the millers and the weavers and their wives through the roofs and gables I can see them every day they shout and scold and go about their lives heedless of the gift it is to be them if I were in their skin I treasure every instant out there strolling by the sand taste the morning out there like ordinary men who freely walk about there just one day and then I swear I'll be content with my share won't resent won't despair old and bent I won't care I'll have spare That's well, beautiful, so and we're good. out there every day. Yes. Boy, that's very inspirational. Of course, it's getting great reviews. Congratulations, uh -huh. Rick Kirby. You are doing an awesome <laughs> job. We're Absolutely. so proud of you. And it's a little darker than what we've seen before with Disney, mm -hmm. but it has so much meaning oh, and so nice. much beauty. Good for them. So you've got time to see it. The Hunchback of Notre Dame is at the Manatee Performing Arts Center now through March 4th. And coming up next, you can see an acclaimed Irish dancer from right here in Sarasota. A great tour going on and we get a preview. For the last decade, SNS Motorsports of Sarasota has built custom high-performance vehicles for demanding clients worldwide. They're now bringing their 50-plus years of combined build expertise to the parts business. SRQ Performance Parts is your one-stop shop for all your performance parts and accessories. Fact. The top three Marriott hotels in North and South America are on the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, according to a recent survey of 363 Marriott hotels, the Marriott at Grand National, the Marriott Shoals Hotel, and the Grand Hotel. And two of the top three Renaissance hotels are also on the trail, Ross Bridge in Birmingham and the Battle House in Mobile. Southern hospitality still rules. For reservations or information, visit rtjgolf.com slash resorts. Loaded with big laughs, colorful characters, and the songs that made the 20s roar, Bullets Over Broadway is bringing musical theater back with a bang. Your attendance is requested at the Players Center for this wild Broadway musical opening February 21st. Call the Players at 365-2494 or visit the website at theplayers.org. This is one Broadway show that is sure to knock them dead. Your daughter just had her first breakup. Do you A, put yourself in her shoes? <laughs> B, console her? Don't worry, sweetie. This is gonna happen a lot. Or C, find her a new boyfriend. Nice single boys. <laughs> that was weird. As a parent, there are no perfect answers, but you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. I'm Anne. I'm a scientist. Recycling takes a team. Why don't you let me and me help you out? Everyone plays a part. 
don't trash. I love taking stuff apart and building new things out of it. What could be treasure? Pal's my most advanced android. <gasps> this is awesome. You haven't seen anything yet. Give your cardboard box another life. Recycle. Join ABC7 at the all-new 2018 edition of Circus Sarasota. Ovation. Under the Big Top at Nathan Benderson Park behind the mall at UTC. Friday, February 9th through Sunday, March 4th. All opening weekend tickets are 20% off courtesy of ABC7. To purchase your discount tickets, visit circusarts.org, the Circus Sarasota box office at the Big Top, or call 941-355-9805. Selfless service is the guiding principle of every Army National Guard soldier. They have a stake in the well-being of the neighborhoods where they live and work. To be an Army National Guard soldier is to serve something greater than yourself. Learn more at NationalGuard.com. We've all been told to follow our dreams and that hard work and determination can make anything possible. Well, that is certainly true for Suncoast resident Justin Boros. He is a self-taught professional Irish dancer and now the creator of an entire Irish dance show production. This is a great story, Justin. Tell thank us you how much. you got started in Irish dance. Absolutely. First off, thanks so much for having me on. I watch you guys yeah. almost every day. Oh, so really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, you know, I was in, uh, I'm from Akron, Ohio, and I was sitting on the couch. I was 15 years old. And I uh, watched on TV, and an episode of uh, performance of Lord of the Dance came on with Michael Flatley. Mm -hmm. And I was so mesmerized by what I saw that um, I did some research, um, ordered myself a pair of dance shoes. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> long story short, um, taught myself in my parents' basement for about a year and a half. And then I uh, went and tried out in Orlando, Florida, and was offered a position in the show. So, so wow. good for you. That's amazing. So you first, first of all, you taught yourself Irish dance, which I know is very complicated. People take classes in studios for a long time. You yes. did it yourself in a garage. I did, yeah. I, uh, back then, we had VHS tapes. <laughs> 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 so uh, I wrote down every step that they did, and I figured, you know, if I had a shot, um, I would learn their steps, and my audition video would be me performing their dances. So that's what my audition video was, and they, you know, they seemed to like it. The stars yeah. aligned. Yeah. What happened with the audition video? Tell us how you got from Michael Flatley, <laughs> who inspired you, to then dancing with him. Sure. Um, I remember going to see um, uh, Lord of the Dance at Epcot Center, mm -hmm. and they had uh, four shows a day, uh, seven days a week, and I ended up giving the audition video to uh, Dance Captain. And at the time, the troop manager came out and said, hey, we'd like to see you after the show. And I thought I was in trouble because I had been cutting in line to see the performances. <laughs> <laughs> So, so you uh, kept going back. Yeah, every day. You're yeah, right, right. To watch the show, observe the show, learn the <laughs> show. Exactly, right. And then uh, I ended up auditioning uh, at the park after they closed on stage. And oh at that gosh. point, I was like, you know, my dream has come true. I'm on stage with Lord of the right. Dance and everything. Oh. So, but then yeah. they cast you. They did, then the, the next day, I got a 26-page contract. Oh um, my. The next day. Yeah, flew home and flew back and then was on tour with them for about two and a half years. This is the ultimate story yeah. for I anyone agree. who is a fan of show business who <laughs> watches and watches and hopes. What was it like to dance with someone who was your idol? Uh, it was amazing. I mean, the best experience of my life and uh, what inspired me to create my own show, definitely. So um, they still tour over in Europe and everything. So, I, you know, it's the, it's the original like Riverdance, Lord of the Dance. So I recommend, right. you know, going to see them. So I want to talk about your own show. But first, I want to say the obvious. When we picture an Irish dancer, you're not exactly what we <laughs> picture. <laughs> you know, you. you're taller, you're bigger than we would expect. <laughs> yeah. uh, do you get that a lot? I do. Yeah. Actually, what inspired me to start working out um, was uh, Lord of the Dance, they have a villain in the show, but he's all costumed up. And I kind of, my vision for my show was to, you know, what if Dwayne The Rock Johnson was out on stage <laughs> dancing? You know, what impact would that have on the audience? Right. So, you know, I worked for many years and worked the out The ladies like it, that's yeah. the impact. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, you have a whole new demographic yes, of fans. Right, right, right. So let's talk about your own show. You actually took a little break from dancing to go into business, but then that led you back into show business with your own show. How did that I happen? I did. Um, I moved down to Florida back in uh, like 2002, and then I got a pharmaceutical sales job. And it was a great job. I worked with great people, and that allowed me time to work on my own production and have the finances to do it. And so, the business yeah. background. Oh, yeah. I'm sure that had yeah. to help. Absolutely. Yeah, I went and got my master's degree in business and everything. So oh everything my. kind of... Uh, kind of the stars aligned and everything uh, ended up, you know, allowing me to have my own production. That's kind so. of a nice lesson for people that are aspiring. You didn't abandon dance altogether. You just knew you wanted to make money and learn more. And you, so you continue to work on your, your passion. Right. You know, uh, constant uh, development, you know, uh, yeah. and constant learning. Self-taught, so. self-motivated. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And still today, absolutely. You know, so yeah. tell us about your show. So you've launched now your own production, Rhythm in the Night, which is going on tour. Tell us what the show is about. So if you've ever seen Riverdance or Lord of the Dance, we took a lot of great elements from there. Um, we wanted to create a good versus evil storyline. Uh, it's set in a me medieval theme, but we also wanted to take the music away from 
uh, traditional Irish music and create a whole new genre of music. So we hired two composers, worked with them for about two and a half years, and the soundtrack is completely original. Uh, it's all full orchestral. Um, and as you can see there, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, we wear wow. costumes, and it's a good versus evil storyline. So when you see the, the feet moving with the orchestral soundtrack, it's just a whole new experience. And the tour kicks off here in Tampa Bay with a week at uh, Bush Gardens. So, yes. so where's the cast come from? Are they locals? Have they come from other places? Uh, they're from all over the world. We have people from Moscow, Mexico, Canada, uh, all over the place. So oh. a lot of them have worked with us on prior tours, so it's great to see them back. And we're kind of like one big family. Mm -hmm. So How exciting to bring all those, those great dancers to our area. Oh, it's fantastic, yeah. I mean, a lot of them came from the snow, so they're very happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this week will kick off, but then where do you go after Tampa Bay? So uh, we kick off our fifth anniversary tour at Tampa Bay. We have three shows a day uh, at the Stanley Villa Theater, February 26th through March 3rd. And then we head up to New York, uh, out west, all the way to Washington State. And we have about 30 dates, and then make our way back down here to Florida. How so. exciting. Yeah. That little yeah. kid in the basement did all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah I guess that, that was my aha moment, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Well, even more exciting is that Justin actually brought us a preview. So while we get ready to see a preview of Rhythm of the Night, we want to let you know that, of course, that tour kicks off with performances February 26th with a whole week of performances at Busch Gardens in Tampa before heading out on the multi-city tour. For dates and ticket information, you can visit Rhythm in the Night. Dot com. All right, Justin and the cast of Rhythm in the Night, take it away. kicks off February 26th with one week of performances at Busch Gardens in Tampa before heading out to the big cities all across with the tour. For dates and ticket information, visit rhythminthenight.com. Coming up next, we'll look at luxury homes on the Sun Coast. Get breaking news alerts focused on the Sun Coast. Download the ABC7 News app. Thousands of award-winning Honda SUVs are on sale from $189 a month during the Honda President's Day sales event. You've got to see these SUVs. Get a surprisingly spacious 2018 HRV, $189 a month, or step up to Pilot for $289 a month with available seating for eight. Plus, we have Motor Trends SUV of the Year, the 2018 CRV, and Ridgeline, a car and driver's 10 best, all on sale for up to $3,805 less than the competition at your local Honda dealer. This is an ABC7 News Update. Good afternoon, I'm Jacqueline Matter. Here's what we're working on for 5 o'clock. Port Manatee looking to regain a service that would bring a lot of visitors and money to Manatee County. And why surgery is not always the answer for chronic back pain sufferers. Now let's get a check on our first alert weather forecast with Bob. Here we go again, another record today. At least we tied the, uh, thus far, not official, but 87 degrees. Uh, the record and we were there right now. We have a few clouds around, but still lots of sunshine today. Warm temperatures and east wind at 11 miles an hour. The pressure 3029 is way up there in the dew point. Pretty low at 44% relative humidity. Lakewood Ranch webcam showing fair weather cumulus clouds uh, as a result of the heating of the day. Not enough moisture around to kick off any significant rain showers this evening. We don't anticipate any. And as far as temperatures go currently across the state, the peninsula anyway, the warmest spot right here in Sarasota, 87 degrees, 80 in Tallahassee. Mourn your forecast at 5. See you then.
ABC7, the Suncoast's official Florida lottery station. Mark Zupan, part of the U.S. Paralympic rugby team. In my game, movement is everything. I get frustrated when my move is blocked, especially when that guy has no right to be there, even just for a minute. I love a challenge, but I don't like to play this game every day. A message from the United Spinal Association. We are problem solvers striving for answers. Relevancy on every platform. We are driven to create content that's compelling, engaging, where it matters. We are neighbors that care about solutions, believers in making a difference, leaders. Innovating in an exciting era of multimedia, reaching to always be the gold standard in our evolving landscape. We are Raycom Media. Find your opportunity today. Here's something we bet you didn't know. Nearly half of all cancers can be prevented. That's right, half, nearly 50%, mostly by making small everyday changes in your diet and controlling your weight, walking more, eating less, and eating foods that help you and your family to seriously reduce the risk of cancer. And of course, by not smoking. Visit the Cancer Prevention Together We Can website and get a free 30-day planner filled with tips, recipes, stats, and more about protecting your family. Go to prevent50.org. There are many gorgeous locations here on the Sun Coast and many gorgeous homes on those locations. In today's Sun Coast <coughs> for Sale, Realtor Andrew Haddad takes us inside some of the luxury homes that are available to buy right yeah. now. Oh, we love this, Andrew. <laughs> Absolutely. We are ready for our tour. We're well, a little nosy. We I like got to one. Yeah, yeah we like to see other well, people's homes. This. And I'll tell you, I just got back from a uh, real estate trip out in California, and it makes us appreciate how much value oh. that we can offer in our luxury home market here. It's oh. incredible. Because I mean, a million dollars there probably doesn't go very far. Doesn't go very far. I mean, that's not even really, a, that's not even a luxury, you know, <laughs> market. Oh, wow. so, so we get more for our money here. Oh my yeah. gosh, oh, beyond, beyond some. So I'll start you off right here in uh, Bradenton. You're gonna see, again, this is a $1.295 million. This is Harbor Walk in the Inlets. Uh, this was built in 2007. Again, just Whoa, under 1.3 million, five bedroom, three and a half bath, almost 4,300 square feet, gorgeous on the inside, oh, gorgeous yeah. on the inside, everything that you could imagine with a, uh, with a you know, gourmet kitchen, the GE monogram appliances, mm -hmm. the owner's suite is downstairs with a, all the guest rooms on the top floor, and then not to mention, this is a huge boating community, <laughs> so you're paying to be on the water as well. Um, deep water gets you right out into uh, the Tampa Bay, also close to Sarasota, yet under 1.3 million for a beautiful, huge home like that on the water, I like to start with that one. That's a great deal. That is 100%. lovely. Yep. Now look at this. Now oh. we are going to be going south, and this is Osprey, just south of Sarasota. Look at this. Under 1.6 million. Yes, it's the, the yellow house on the end of that peninsula right there. It's like an island. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> Westa Trail, oh, Sorrento Shores. Nice. Gorgeous mm. views. Uh, three bedroom, three and a half bath, over 3,500 square feet. Um, it has a spectacular Key West style home. Mm. And what I really like about this is 270 feet of waterfront. Wow. Can you imagine that much waterfront? Again, it's it's a fairly new home built in 2014. Um, beautiful views, the mm. pool and everything. I mean, this is what I'm talking about though. A gorgeous mansion on the water under one point. Oh, I six. bet in Los Angeles that would cost wow. you Seriously. twice ten. as much. <laughs> Entry level 10, that's right. Ten. That's right, so I'll tell you, I mean, good values. That's what I wanted you to see today. So this is a good time to buy right now. I'll tell you what, our luxury market is super strong. Just in Sarasota alone, there were over 300 luxury home sales. Wow. wow. In the fourth quarter. And then also just in Sarasota, I mean, there's not even a thousand on the market. What that means is, is we have a pretty strong luxury market, and again, people are coming here for the amenities. You know, Sarasota is no longer a secret. It is, it's yes. out there. No, and it's people not. Are buying. Is Absolutely. there marketing that you're doing to places, you know, like the New Yorks, the Chicago's, the the luxury areas yep. that people, or is it just word of mouth at this point? Oh gosh, no. Um, the marketing with, with the luxury arena goes far and beyond. I mean, you're, okay. you you want to be marketing in those tools that the luxury buyers, clientels are looking okay. at. Uh -huh. So from magazines to online to our global network, I mean, you have to have your properties in front of that. They're targeted. The great yeah. thing about it, though, is they're seeing these pictures, yeah. this mm -hmm. value, mm -hmm. and they're just blown away. 
I yes, mean, because any they, other market. They would be looking at Los Angeles right. and a lot of others. I agree. So how about, let's go to another one. Let's and let us I see somebody it. else's oh, house. Oh, I'm ready. Okay, so look <laughs> at this. This um, um, amazing home, under $2.2 million. Now, this is uh, in Inglewood. This is eight bedrooms, oh, six and a half wow. baths. Wow. Stephanie, this is over 11,000 square feet of living area. Ah. Incredible. This is, uh, you know, just a different style type home. Oh, very Yet, different. Again, it's on two and a half acres, a uh, little low, le little less, I'm sorry, than two and a half acres, right on the water, overlooking Is that the Lemon master Bay. bath? That is the Looks master like a bath. Room. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it is. I'll tell you, it's, uh, you know. Marriages in Englewood will be saved. There you go. Exactly. How do you so, get away from me? A lot of dramatic uh, features in this house. Um, they also have a, like a peekaboo glass floor and spiral staircase. Oh my goodness, I want to see that. I know. So again, beautiful pool. We're right on the water. Stunning. Wait till you see this next picture though, because I, I think I have an aerial on this one. There it is. Um, tennis court. Tennis court. I like that. Two, two acres, you know, two and a quarter acres right on the water. Honey, oh we said we goodness. were going to play again. <laughs> it's hard to find uh, acreage like that on water. Too. Absolutely. Oh, yes, it hard. Is. Absolutely. And plus, with that amount of, uh, yeah, acreage right on the water, it's, it's amazing. So mm -hmm. I'm still it. dumbfounded. It's to see these properties on the market. Do, how do you do better? Oh, oh there, 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 there. <laughs> You ask and you shall receive. <laughs> Here Location. we are. This is in Sarasota. So, again, great price point to be in Sarasota mm -hmm. on Little Sarasota Bay under. $3.3 million. Now, this is really interesting. This is a uh, remnants of a 1920 French style New Orleans type uh, decor and hardwood finishes and everything in here. So, very craftsman style home with all those unique features. But three bedrooms, two and a half baths, over 4,700 square feet. This house is listed by Brandy Coffey uh, with mm -hmm. Keller Williams. So, she does a great job. And oh. again, right on the water. All these properties are on the market and ready for oh, sale. You. Look right at that there, view. Stairs at a view, priceless. Lay in your oh. bed and yes, look at the bay. Is. Absolutely. Yes, or sit out on your deck. You <laughs> Wonderful, Andrew. Thank welcome. you so much. For more information on these homes and many others, you can contact Andrew at sellingthesuncoast.com. Next, a preview of the Thursday night farmer's market. This yeah. is different. Uh, yes. Love it. If you're looking for the perfect trip that allows you to spend quality time with the family, then discover the great outdoors on an Alabama black belt adventure. Create unforgettable memories while hunting, fishing, or biking and hiking. Or play the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, now celebrating 25 years. And while you're here, enjoy the flavors of the Black Belt. Book your adventure at our lodges or stay in the Renaissance Montgomery Hotel and Spa. Start planning an Alabama Black Belt adventure today. When it comes to drinking, what do you think moderation is? The U.S. Dietary Guidelines define moderation as up to one drink a day for women and up to two drinks a day for men. So what's a drink? The guidelines say a drink equals 12 ounces of beer, 5 ounces of wine, or a cocktail with 1.5 ounces of distilled spirits. Each contains the same amount of alcohol. Like to learn more? Visit drinkinmoderation.org. Tomorrow at 5 on ABC 7's Good Morning Sun Coast. Hi, I'm Stephanie Webb. And I'm Ray Collins. State College of Florida Manatee Campus is offering a new facility. We'll tell you more about the resources being offered at their State of the Art Library and Learning Center tomorrow on Good Morning Sun Coast. John? We could use some rainfall, and for a lot of folks, I think we could use some cooler temperatures. Will we see any of those around? We'll talk about that right now. Tomorrow at 5 on ABC 7's Good Morning Sun Coast. We're here for you. For more than 100 years, American Humane Association has been teaching kids to be kind to animals. Those in our homes, on the farms, on the silver screen, and wildlife conservation caring for the world's vanishing creatures. But we can't do it alone. Visit kindness100.org to find ways to teach kids how they can make a more caring, compassionate, and humane world for all of us.
exotic animals on a daily basis and the ones that we have in captivity are really the ambassadors for their wild counterparts. I'm Clayton Rosaire from the Big Cat Habitat and Gulf Coast Sanctuary, housing over 150 exotic animals that needed a great home. And if you love animals, please help them. Do it locally. Support your local no-kill shelters, your local wild animal sanctuaries. Make a difference where you can. I love new events here on the Sun Coast. We've got great news if you're always hoping and trying to get to the farmer's market, but you know, life is busy. There's one on Saturday downtown, one on Wednesday at Philippi Creek. Now there's one on Thursday evenings in the Rosemary oh, District. Nice. Really? This is made for the working people yes. and I absolutely love it. This is gonna be through April from 5 to 8 p.m. And guess what? If we do a great job and they're packed, I bet it'll continue oh, this oh, makes as well. I great. thought this would make yes. everybody happy. An evening farmer's market. And you know what? What a great after school and after dinner outing yeah. as well. Temperatures are cool in the evening. Go out, take a stroll. Enjoy the local farm produce and products right in the Rosemary District. That's oh, great. That sounds great. Yes. We can get a head start on the yes. weekend. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> Very excited about that. Great way to kick off a weekend. I'm also extremely excited about strawberries speaking Yay. of the farmers market and Judy's cooking with them in the kitchen watch good morning Suncoast on ABC 7 weekday starting at 5 This is an ABC 7 News Update. I'm Scott Dennis. This is what's coming up at the top of the hour. Controversial therapy, a hot topic at a Sarasota City Commission meeting last night. Why some say they're against the practice. In first alert traffic right now, we're seeing a crash in downtown Bradenton. It's on US 301 just before the DeSoto Bridge, and it is tying up traffic heading north and then southbound on the bridge as well at this hour. Let's get another check on the weather with Bob. Three days in a row now, Scott, that we've either uh, set or tied a record high. 87 degrees our current temperature. That ties the old mark set back in 1997. The dew point 63. Winds are out of the east at 11. The pressure 3029. That continues to remain extremely high. Temperatures uh, this evening through 11 o'clock looking good. Mostly fair and comfortable. 70 degrees at 11 o'clock. We are anticipating warm temperatures to stick around too through the weekend. We'll have the complete details on our weekend weather forecast. Coming up at 5. See you then. Breaking news alerts focused on the Sun Coast. Download the ABC7 News app. Invest in Kids is a $7.5 million project to build a new Boys and Girls Club in South Manatee County. I'm Caleb Grimes, and I was a club kid. It's where I learned important life lessons, leadership, integrity, responsibility, and baseball. Thousands of kids attend the Boys and Girls Clubs, and after years of use, their club is slowly falling apart. Help us invest in kids. Make your donation today. Thank you. We've all heard how military veterans adjusting to the civilian world may have certain issues. 30. 70. If only everyone had this issue. No matter what challenge they face, Easter Seals is here for America's veterans. It's been about a month, and I can honestly say I've seen the change in me. I went from being a depressed girl who didn't want help to this happy, caring girl who loves helping other people. I just really hope that people that went through what I went through get the help that they need because their story is important and they are loved. Thank you so much for everything. The thought of my sons growing up without me inspired me to quit smoking. I talked to my doctors, and then I threw away all my cigarettes, ashtrays, and lighters. I started exercising instead of smoking. Letting my friends online know I was quitting kept me on track. Staying away from alcohol when I was first quitting was key. I kept on trying, learned something each time. Do whatever it takes. No matter how many times it takes, 
We did it. You can too. For free help, visit cdc.gov slash tips. Patriotism. It inspires passionate debate. It's worn like a badge of honor with good reason. Because it means love and devotion for one's country. But what really makes up this country of ours? It's the people. To love America is to love all Americans. This year, patriotism shouldn't just be about pride of country. It should be about love, love beyond age, sexuality, disability, race, religion, and other labels. Because love has no labels. Coming up Thursday at 4 on Suncoast View, why walk when you can ride? You've likely seen the two-wheeler segways on the sidewalks of the Suncoast. We're going to show you how easy it is to do and fun. Plus, it's a big music marathon day. We have an award-winning banjo player. Plus, Suncoast favorite Chantal Norman and John Movement are here to preview their reggae block party. And State Street Eating House celebrates National Margarita Day with us. Mm. Welcome back, everybody. We're here with Chef Judy and some really yummy strawberry dishes. What do we have here? Well, I'm really excited because, first of all, we live in a state that has the best strawberries. Mm -hmm. I yep. would take down California any time <laughs> on this dare. Winter I, strawberry capital. Winter, true, mm -hmm. and they're so sweet, mm -hmm. and they have come in again, of course, really sweet. So let's start over to say la vie. Mm. I, when I think of fresh strawberries, I think of strawberry shortcake. I also think of fresh strawberry crepes. Mm. And yes. they have the most beautiful crepes. Oh, and you beautiful. can get them with whipped cream or chocolate. Mm. And of course, their signature chocolate dipped strawberries, which is just always a delightful oh, treat. That's lovely. And then look at this, oh. strawberry macaroon strawberry cake. Oh, I mean, is wow, that so not so gorgeous? So wow. This is the type of thing you bring to somebody's Let's home for yeah. like a housewarming yeah. or, or, meet or, or meet the parents <laughs> or it's Tuesday night and I'm watching Netflix, Joey. <laughs> Any of those. So really just lovely, simple, but just screams of freshness. Mm -hmm. And that's it's what gorgeous. you have to remember. Even if you're, you just bought a simple cake at another bakery, make sure you put some strawberries on top because we're, the more more layers of flavor of freshness you get, the better it is. That's a good tip. That now, good tip it, it, thank, everything. thank you. Now let's go over to Yoder's <laughs> restaurant because you know my first week, week that I was here on vacation probably 30 years ago, oh. I started finding these Amish restaurants mm -hmm. and such, and boy, did I find out. <laughs> it was calorie laden for lunch, so I just <laughs> went straight for the pie. That's <laughs> good, you know? Uh -huh. And so they're, of course, known for their strawberry pie. And what's really fun is I found out a lot of the Amish buses from Ohio and Pennsylvania come in on a Saturday. Then the following Monday, after a week or two, the buses are leaving. Yoder's produce is packed, and people are buying cases of strawberries oh. and tomatoes to bring oh, back bring home. Back. Oh. I was one of those who lived in Boston and came here on vacation and would go on a flight with yeah. two huge <laughs> things of strawberries. Of strawberries. <laughs> Nowadays, awesome. I don't think they'd oh, let me I'm, on. I'm like I think I'd go. Yoder's pie. There yeah. you go. I remember <laughs> that. That's yeah. right, Linda. To sit with you two. That's exactly. Yeah. exactly. And Stephanie, of course, the mm. strawberry rhubarb strawberry pie. Rhubarb. So if you don't want something so sweet that's strawberry and strawberry glaze, strawberry rhubarb is a really good balance because rhubarb is tart. Mm -hmm. So you kind of get that sweet mm -hmm. and sour, that tartness, which is really good. And they make homemade strawberry bread. Really? And yes. Never heard with, of that. Oh my, well, that Linda, have a bite. Well, it is very is. moist and, you I know. <laughs> and of course, they have pans of strawberry shortcake. Mm. So whether you're so buying the cake or whatever mm. you're going to do, but mm. you know, I my mom, um, we used to go strawberry picking. I grew up in Connecticut, and my mom's birthday almost always fell on Passover. So she couldn't have the cake, or if we made the cake, it had to be the Passover cake with two dozen eggs and everything. But what we learned were the simple things were the best. So Kelly, you're gonna love this. Sliced strawberries, mm -hmm. just a little bit of Truvia or Stevia in it, and a little bit of coconut milk at yeah. 25 calories for yeah. a glass. Oh, wow. Now remember, strawberries are really high in potassium and they do have good fiber. Mm -hmm. So you've got vitamins and nutrients in it, and that's a really light dessert. Oh, yeah. Another one, and I'm showing my age, anybody that remembers this from the late 70s and early 80s, 
balsamic wow. vinegar with strawberries. Sounds crazy. Now, if you put a crazy. dollop of vanilla gelato on top of that, <laughs> yes. okay, Joey's got it. Yes. You're you're kind of feeling uh -huh. it. So so again, it gives you this sense of tartness, but it's a lighter version. And remember, I promised you mm -hmm. strawberry sauce, oh, three wow. pints of strawberries. What do we put that? A on? half Thank a cup you. of water. Everything. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Cool it down. You can mix it with barbecue sauce Ooh. and have a strawberry barbecue glaze for your chicken. That's a great okay. Idea. Oh, it's great on chicken. It's great on fish. And freeze yeah. them whole. Freeze yeah, them whole. Really. You'll have them all year long for your smoothies. It's a great idea. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. All right. It's one of my favorite times of year. Be proud of where we are. This is the winter strawberry mm, capital. Yeah. The berries are in. The berries are sweet. And a lot of our area restaurants do a great job celebrating yeah. the strawberry. Yeah. Thanks, Judy. We Thank appreciate you. it. Great tips today, Kelly. Congratulations again Thank on Jacob's yeah. Lakewood Ranch. Glad we'll to see you. feel better when you go back to work. Mm -hmm. We are digging into the healthy strawberries, of course. Take yes, some time and enjoy right. the Suncoast view. Mm. 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 I love it.